my god. Open marriage. Is it okay? Oh my god. Oh! Oh, he did a trans one. Holy shit. So we know the oh, we got to see this one. Oh my God. We have to see this one. Matt Walsh reacts to the benefits of dating trans women. Oh, we have to see this. Holy shit, please. We live in an enlightened age when it True. comes to our, our understanding of uh, gender. And by enlightened, I mean insane and confused. We're told. What that do you mean? Okay. Let's be. We, we got off to a good start. But let's be real. The most offensive thing that Matt Walsh has said so far is that anybody else is confused because Matt Walsh is the most perpetually confused individual. If you were to tell me that Matt Walsh's set was built in a dementia ward, I would believe you. I would not, I would not even doubt you. If you were to tell me that that is how confused <laughs> Matt Walsh is. If, if someone was to tell me that Matt Walsh has actually never met another human and that he exists in a, in a, parody version of the Truman Show, I would believe you. I would not even ask a second question. That's how confused Matt Walsh always is. Men are women and women are men and some women are men and women. No. And some no, men no. are men and women no, no. and like no. armadillos or whatever. <laughs> but the trans agenda has run into a kind of a problem which is sort of interesting. We're supposed to see men as women if they call themselves. What? Do you see what I'm talking about? The confusion. No one there is confused. He's confused. Matt Walsh is confused himself and he gets mad at other people for confusing him, basically. He's like, I am angry that, that your thinking made my head hurt. That is Matt Walsh's entire thing. Oh, can you stop thinking so much? It's making my head hurt. Women, but they aren't really women, and other men know that. What? And if other men are heterosexual, then they aren't going to be attracted to a man just because he says he's a woman. So that that what presents are you a real problem. About? No, it, no, it yeah. doesn't. What are you talking about? What are you fucking talking about? None of this even makes sense. Blame heterosexual men for wanting biological females. That's how they're oriented. It's the orientation. It's their idea. Hey, guess what? Every single, every single porn statistic. This is just a fun little side note. I know what he's getting at. He didn't explain it well. What he's trying to say is that me that straight men aren't attracted to trans people. That's what he's trying to say. That's what he's trying to say. He's trying to say that straight men aren't attracted to trans women. But we all know that's a goddamn lie, don't we? Do we know? Do we know what one of the most popular, the if not the most popular... Uh, porn category is among straight men. We do, don't we? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like you're wrong, my friend. As it turns out, straight men love girl dick. Oh my god, do they love girl dick. They can't get enough of it. They can't fucking get enough of it. And you're just mad. You're just mad that that's the case. This is feels over facts. This is feels over reels. It's true, though. Identity, you know, and that's the conundrum that the gender warriors find themselves in. No, they don't. And uh, they're always trying to find a way out of it. One way out of it is to simply berate heterosexual men and demand that they be attracted prediction to there will not be a single instance of berating heterosexual men in this entire video but he will take it as such because see matt walsh is at the end of the day a giant confused snowflake we've talked about how stupid he is we've talked about how he talks uh, he has chapped ass lips that are disgusting and he really should have them looked at because he's starting to look like uh he's starting to look like a hollow from dark souls like, you know, like a dried up bag of bones. Um, but what we what we really haven't talked about yet is how at, at the end of the day, in addition to being unfunny, in addition to having dry ass lips and having no personality, Matt Walsh is also a triggered little snowflake who whines about everything and takes every single conversation as a personal attack, even if that attack doesn't have any, even if that conversation doesn't have anything to do with him 
AKA he's a man child. Trans people. That, that's one thing you could do. Find them attractive, damn you. Be attracted to these people. Another strategy is what you find in this video. That just the definition right. of making up, just the definition of making up a trans woman to be angry at. No. Um, the person goes by the name Don Marie. This is a transgender person who identifies as a woman explaining. Uh, she goes by Don Marie. This is a trans woman. Do you see how, do you see how, again, performatively cruel he is for no reason? We haven't even seen the video yet. Uh, just kind of laying out a case for why uh, straight men should date so-called trans women. In fact, the, the case being made here is that, is that, is that uh, straight men are better off dating biological males who identify as women. Let's give is it a that? watch. Today no. we're going to talk about the reasons and the benefits of dating a transgender woman. Wait, no. The, uh, look, what did I tell you? Immediately, literally immediately, the, I, my prophecy was made true. The video is not talking about how it's better to date trans women. It's just saying here are some of the benefits. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at this guy's expression. Just look. Look at his face. As always, we have the we have the Lord of Patriarchy problem. Look at this guy. Absolute just purple bags around his eyes, chapped ass lips, his fucking five o'clock shadow coming in, his thinning fucking hairline, and this guy's gonna try and judge this beautiful woman over here. What a sad piece of shit. What a fucking hollow. And why we are probably most likely, I don't wanna be biased, but why we're probably most likely a better candidate of uh, dating than like, you know, your average bish. The first reason being, we are strong, strong individuals. We've had to endure a lot. True! You know, within our life. And True, we have! We've been through a lot, and it just makes us stronger people, and it makes us really sweet. You go through as much as a trans woman who's been, like, either kicked out of her home, or she's been beat up by people, by bullies and stuff. He's gonna be a very, very loving, caring person because she doesn't want anybody to feel what she's been through, you know? So she's gonna be super sweet and she's just gonna be a loving person. He's got nothing. Here we go. Ready for a non sequitur? Here we go. So females aren't strong? Biological women are not strong is what I'm, what I'm getting at this? Or sorry, not female. Uh, I believe the scientific term I wrote it down here being used here is um, average b Nothing! He's got nothing! Literally nothing! He had to completely make up nonsense in order to even respond to it. Nothing! The guy has nothing going up in his head. Just no neurons firing. Just, uh, okay, let me reach into the hat and grab a couple of non sequiturs. I was so correct. Damn! To describe biological women. And that's okay. Okay, that's Thank you for the tier one sub, Mystic Miltank. Appreciate it very much. Always be supported. Thank you very much. Be insulted. You can't be insulted, ladies. You, and if you are insulted, you're not allowed to say so because. Do, do you think any? Do you think even a single woman made a video about this video? I bet like one woman in the UK, some like 80 year old bat, made a video about this in the UK on Turf Island. But the rest is fucking dudes like this who are going, oh, I'm so mad. That's the lesson, remember? That's if, if you're being insulted and degraded by a trans person, then uh, if they're invading your privacy, even if they're going into your locker room or your bathroom and you're thinking, Probably gee, I'd rather have bone. privacy, uh, you, all you're allowed to do is smile and say thank you. So when you're being insulted right what? now, that's all, that is female empowerment. What? What are you talking this right about? Here. What is this guy talking about? series of insults. About? And it continues and gets worse. Let's keep going. That on. wasn't an so, Thank you for why you There wasn't an insult. There wasn't a single insult. Where was the insult? Date a trans woman instead. I'm just kidding. We are more appreciative of the small things. We don't need you to, like, you know, go buy us an expensive lunch or, you know, spend a hundred dollars on something for me to be happy we just want you to like hold our hands in public we just want you to be happy that you're with us 
like you know little things like holding our hand in public can make us super happy because you know there are people out there that want to hide us so you know we're we're easy to please we don't we don't have like super unattainable like standards like we do have standards not gonna I don't want to make it sound like we don't have standards but you know we we are not just like stuck up and like bougie and just wanting the world from you we just appreciate the small things get it where I'm living okay so I, I'm because I'm taking notes here and I'm, I'm, so I'm trying to you know just make sure really where's the notes let me see your note I want to see his notes you want to you don't want to know what his note looks like you're gonna open up the page and you're gonna see a, a a drawing a childlike drawing of a dinosaur with an enormous dick that's what his notes page looks like that i'm uh i'm listening and i'm being a good student so biological women are weak materialistic stuck up bougie b that's what i'm gathering here and i'm not saying that our friend don marie is saying that so so far this guy is the most performatively offended piece of shit i've ever seen i've never seen someone oh oh, oh you, you said something nice about yourself that means you're attacking me you're attacking me and all the other women in the world oh, you're so mean he doesn't this sell it you know who would do this video good I, I hate to say this, but Milo Yiannopoulos would do this b video good because Milo Yiannopoulos would be like, oh my God, did you just call all women bougie? That is just, oh, I, I won't handle the judgment. I just won't handle the judgment. But Matt Walsh here is like, uh, I think she said that straight women are, I mean, cis women are stuck up or something it's offensive this is just a, a parade this guy is of fucking insults phoning it in against, from, the, from the tomb against women and uh there's not but there's not so much of a, of a real case it's like we're not getting over the um the hump i was looking for a better word to use there and i couldn't find it so i just went with hump I, we're not really getting over the hump here of, of this, this difficulty of how do you get around the fact that a heterosexual male is, is, is actually, actually wants a female. That's, the whole, that's sort of like the whole point, really, um, sexually, if you're a heterosexual male. So we haven't gotten to that part yet. Maybe we will. Let's keep watching. Number three for why it is beneficial to date a transgender woman is not all guys want to have kids. Believe it or not, right now I'm talking to a guy who doesn't want to have kids. And that's where I actually got this little pointer from. Um, you know, we can't get pregnant, which means we don't have periods either. So a lot of guys don't want kids. There's so much pressure to have a kid when there's a guy and a female, you know, in a relationship. There's like, oh, well, now her you dad, know like, Hannibal. Well, you get married, have some you kids. You know it, Hannibal. You know, not all guys want kids. So, you know, if you don't want kids, we're the perfect candidate for you. Like, at first I was like, hmm... You know, maybe I'm, I'm sad because I want to have my own children too. But, you know, whatever. Like, you know, I'll, I'll keep my body nice and toned and fit. And, you know, keep it stretch marks free. You know, I do have stretch marks on the side of my booty because it's growing. I just feel my brain cells committing Harry Carey. I don't even think I need to say anything. I, I don't, I don't think I need to say anything. Just an absolute moron. Just a painfully stupid individual. They're, they're committing ritualistic suicide in protest for subjecting them to this. Uh, no offense. So update the list. Biological women are weak, materialistic, stuck-up, bougie, stretch-mark-riddled 
that's why. That, that, again, that's, that's the portrait, rather I should say the cartoon of women that's being presented to us here, and not just here. The, the entire, the left's entire agenda when it comes to gender rests on this kind of thing. No, it doesn't. By you the way, no trans women, about. quote unquote, can't get pregnant. Is that, is that what you're saying? Correct. That's true. I mean, that, that is finally some good information. We got, we got one fact in here, and that's good. That's, that's biologically correct information. But why do you think that is? It's a man, baby. All, see, you've got. So you heard it here, everybody. The only type of people. By the way, thank you, Silax. I appreciate that. The only type of people. In, in Matt Walsh's peanut mind, in his walnut shell that he calls his skull, the only type of people who can't get pregnant are men. Which means, it's interesting how this always works out, right? That at the end of the day, trans misogyny and misogyny, there's a reason why they call it trans misogyny, right? Whoops, can't have kids? You're not a real woman. Whoopsies. Oh, whoopsies. Not that he cares. Let's think about this for a second. All biological women um, can get pregnant barring old age or disease. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, he's trying. He's trying. Right? Uh, so, in other words. Yeah, fertility, by the way, just so you know, that is this is completely stupid. Do you know how hard, do you know that there are entire clinics in nearly every single city of the world that are fertility clinics? Because as it turns out, it's not always easy to get pregnant. Possible, biological women can get pregnant. On the other hand, quote unquote trans women can never get pregnant, ever, under any circumstance. Huh. I mean, it's, it's almost like we have two different categories of people here. And there's a, there's a word for... Oh, yeah, we do. Yep. You have people who can get pregnant and people who can't. And according to Matt, all people who, aren't, who can't get pregnant are def definitionally men. This is how stupid Matt Walsh's brain is. He, this is just... I mean, just look at this. His, if you read his statements back to him, they're absurd. They're motherfucking stupid. For that, what's the word? Where, you, where you've got you've got two two potential categories, um, and so you, you know, on one hand you have people who can get pregnant, on the other hand you have people who can't get pregnant, and um, what is it when you got two different categories? Oh, binary. Yeah, so it's it's almost as if we have a binary system here. Oh, wait a minute. So you mean you mean the numerous animals on the planet that have more than two sexes? You mean that none of them can get pregnant? This is so this is so stupid. His argument is so unbelievably dumb. He what he's trying to say is that if there is a if there is a sex that can get pregnant, that must mean that there are only two sexes, but that is not true. We know that there are multiple animals that have multiple sexes. So he's wrong on every single point he brings up. Yes, and male seahorses can get pregnant. They put babies in their belly. Of, uh, well, Craig Demon Lord, you know what that means? That means that that trans woman is the is according to Matt Walsh's logic the only real trans woman. Pre people who can get impregnated, and people who can impregnate. Oh wait a minute, he's doing the meme. I'm sorry to keep being a pause Andy over here, but this guy is literally doing the meme. That that he said that they say the left does. You know, uh, you know when the the left say uh, child bearing person. He's doing that right now. He's saying that there are non-pregos and there are pregos. Literally so stupid. So painfully stupid. That's almost what it seems like. I don't know. I've got to think more about this. But All right, let's, uh, let's finish this up. Number four would be that we know a man's needs more than your average girl. The reason that being is because we've been on the other side, if you're catching my drift. Bad. 
Oh, he's getting hot around the collar. Look at that, everybody. This is the truest sign ever. Look at this. Look at watch. Watch him. Watch. Watch him pop a boner in real time. Just watch this. I want you to watch him get Number pop a boner in real time. Watch. That we know a man's needs more than your average girl. Reason that being is because we've been on the other side. Hold on. I need to hide my camera. Hold on. Watch this. Watch Matt's expression here. Just watch it. If you're catching my trip. He's a big heavy swallow, a big big gasp. He's like <gasps> I feel like number five is because trans women are more feminine and make more of an effort. The reason that being is is because we're making up for Ah, this is a bit of a bad take here, lady. Ah, this one's this one's silly. This one's silly. For what we lacked in our previous life and you know, we care about our appearance. And we just want to look spruced up and feminine at all times. Guys love that. Guys appreciate it. I've heard from a few guys that I've dated. Like this one's you know, a like, miss, I lady. Really appreciate Sorry, John. This one's a miss. They actually take the time to get ready and don't take advantage of being a woman. Oh my God, this hair is getting on my nerves right here. You guys actually like take the time and effort to be feminine and to be girly, and you guys aren't trying to like step all over our toes all the time. Okay, well, let's uh, f final update to the list. Biological women are weak, materialistic, stuck-up, bougie, fat, stretch mark riddled, lazy, unfeminine. Damn! Damn! But other than that, great. And Don, I got to tell you, the, the people you're dating who compliment you um, on taking so long to get ready, those are called gay men. What? And a hint that they're gay is that they're dating a biological male, so that's... Oh, what a lame... Oh, my God. I thought he was going to try and do some sort of gotcha. I thought he was going to try to put together a joke. Dude, that was so fucking lazy. Holy shit. That doesn't even make sense. Dude, that doesn't even make any sense. Why would a gay man be attracted to an incredibly feminine person? idiot more really kind of a dead giveaway right there but if you need more um no straight man anywhere ever but not right now fun is eager for their their wife or their girlfriend to take more time to get ready that just doesn't no straight man when their woman comes out of the bathroom after 98 minutes and you're you're late for your dinner reservations none of them are saying wow honey uh, thank you for putting so much effort into your appearance. Unless they're being sarcastic. No, straight men are, are pounding on the door saying, hey, babe, just throw on some sweatpants. We got to go. Let's go. That's a straight man. It really is amazing. So wait, let me get this straight. In Matt's head, straight guys aren't attracted to femininity. They don't like feminine women. Straight guys like masculine women. And gay guys like feminine me feminine women. Wait, I'm not the hot tub streamer. Hi. Hi, doe. I... I don't know. I'm just a little... I'm a little confused. I, I, I think there's some... Again, remember when I started this video by saying that Matt... The, 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 the cosmic irony of Matt Walsh claiming that other people are confused is just... I don't... It's something... It's something, okay? It's something. The claim here is that biological men identifying as women are not only feminine, but more feminine. They are better at being women than women are. That's the message these days. True! <laughs> Am I right? Woohoo! Yeah, trans supremacy. Am I right? Oh, yeah. We're better. We're better than you at being everything. We're better at you than being men. We're better at you than being women. We're better than you at being neither. We own you. And you know it, Matt. You know it. You're afraid of us. That's why you have to make videos desperately trying to convince people not to suck our amazing cocks. But you've lost. You've lost, Matt. I'm very sorry. Except I'm not. I'm glad that you lost. Anyway, <clears throat> let's return to the uh, previously planned programming. The, the message is, if you're a woman, uh, as a woman, you can do anything except be a woman. Because men are better suited for that role. 
what? So what, what do we have here, all told? Just to summarize. We have a bunch of insulting generalizations and stereotypes. Totally. Along with a huge misunderstanding about the nature of women and the desires of, of heterosexual men. Oh, totally. That's what we have. And that, in fact, is what, what the whole Screen's of left-wing gender theory is built upon. My screen Other isn't than frozen. That, no, it isn't. Great content. Well, thanks for watching the that video, guys. That's and all he had? That was the entire thing? Wow. Pathetic. Honestly, sad. Honestly, just pathetic. Just absolutely pathetic. But I, what I learned, the takeaway that I had from this, is that gay men like women and straight men like men. So there you have it. Being a normal straight man, Matt Walsh will turn off his camera and immediately rail his husband in the ass to prove how straight he is. So there you have it. There you have it. There you have it, folks. We've learned. We've learned today.